This is Province Sports columnist Ed Willis with our weekly look around the uh, NHL. Now, uh, fans in Chicago got excited this week when Patrick Kane started practicing with the team. They got excited. Everybody else in the Western Conference got nervous. Um, the thought was uh, Kane is way ahead of schedule and would return to the lineup earlier than his projected uh, a date in, in early May. Uh, turns out that's not really the case. Uh, the broken shoulder has its own time schedule. Uh, it looks like he'll be ready for the second round of the playoffs, and of course that raises all kind of intrigue uh, about the postseason going forward. Uh, can the Blackhawks hang on until Kane get back? That's uh, going to be a big question because with Kane in the lineup, uh, they're the prohibitive uh, Stanley uh, Cup favorites. Uh, they've gone nine four and one without him. They went out and got Antoine Vermette and uh, Kimo Timonen at the trade deadline to uh, bolster their depth. Goalie Corey Crawford has really quietly had a, a Vesna type season. So you add all that up and then throw in their home run hitter, and uh, they, they would, as I said, they would they, they would emerge as, as the Stanley Cup favorite. Um, it, it's interesting because it really is wide open this year. You look at the Western Conference and the three top teams, uh, Anaheim, Nashville, and St. Louis, uh, all lack the champions pedigree and all have visible warts. Um, in the East, it's a wide open. Uh, I personally like Tampa, but you can make the case for any one of the other seven teams to, uh, to, to, to make a move. And the Canucks are really in the mix there somewhere you wouldn't really call them the betting favorites going forward but they draw Calgary in the first round that's a very winnable series for them and just about anything can happen going forward so I mean it's been a fascinating regular season from a Canucks perspective uh, but it looks like the postseason is where the real fun is going to start so uh, this is Ed Willis signing off and happy Easter everyone.